Hey there Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. So for today's video we'll be analyzing Caesars Entertainment's health and safety plan of 2020 following the coronavirus crisis of 2020. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Initially, Caesars was a little quiet about their reopening plans, aside from a couple rumors about their flagship property Caesars Palace and a couple of their lower-end properties like Flamingo reopening in phases, there hadn't been much news, especially from the casino giant itself. At least not until May 13th when Tony Rodeo, uh, current CEO of Caesars Entertainment, had made an official statement on the YouTube channel, Caesars Entertainment, their official YouTube channel, as well as posted some new information on the official Caesars.com website. So now that we have the information, let's go ahead and dissect it piece by piece and see if this plan is, well, to be perfectly frank, worth a damn. So first things first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Caesars Palace has not told us when they're reopening their doors, nor have any of the other properties like Flamingo, Bally's, or Harrah's at this point. And that's because Nevada's still under phase one of reopening. They've just lifted the stay-at-home orders in the state of Nevada, according to Governor Steve Sisolak. Meaning, while restaurants can reopen and a couple other stores are allowed to do curbside pickup, Certain facilities, such as brothels, uh, gentlemen's clubs, and most importantly, casinos, are not yet permitted to open. Well, I guess they're casino restaurants, but th that's really a video for another day. In fact, just go ahead and check out this uh, card in the upper right-hand corner over here. We talked about it during the podcast on Sunday. Let's, let's not get sidetracked. So, it's clear that Caesars isn't quite ready to accept guests, although they are permitting guests to book rooms at this point. Caesar's Palace did show that they had bookings available as early as May 29th. Now hang on a second, let's take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. Their website did take those reservations, but also keep in mind it does state that while the casino is closed, any reservations that fall into the closure period will be cancelled and automatically refunded if prepaid, so keep that in mind too. Conservatively, I'd estimate the next time that we as tourists will be able to see the inside of a Caesars Casino won't be before June 15th, and that's also going to depend on a couple state regulations from your guys and your governors. And that's just as domestic travelers. International travelers, you guys might have a little bit of a different problem. That said, if you feel like booking, hey, more power to you, because worst thing that's going to happen is your booking is going to get canceled and refunded. Now don't get it twisted, it does look like Caesars is getting ready to reopen because they're so focused on their brand new cleaning plan. Yes, Caesars Entertainment has put together an official cleaning plan and that is actually outlined on their official Caesars Entertainment health and safety video of 2020 on the official Caesars Entertainment YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put a link to them in the description box below. So in that same plan, team members are actually expected to do more and more cleaning and sanitization runs, especially of high traffic areas and high touch things such as elevator buttons as well as slot machine buttons too. But in addition to that, they're expected to clean and sanitize not only their area, but themselves as well. So if your blackjack dealer has to get up once every hour to go to the bathroom, it's largely because they have to wash their hands or alternately make sure that they get over to a sanitization station and get some uh, hand sanitizer, alcohol hand sanitizer on their hands. That's going to be one of the big frequent things. The same team members have also taken the time to place more hand sanitizer stations throughout the casinos that they'll be working in. Our team members are washing their hands frequently for at least 20 seconds, and we encourage our guests to do the same. Hand sanitizer stations have also been added throughout our properties. In addition to all this extra cleaning, the Caesars Entertainment team members are also expected to wear full face masks, and these are masks that are going to be covering your nose and your mouth all the way through. Hopefully surgical grade, like this. And while guests aren't mandated to wear masks or other PPE, they're highly encouraged to do so by leadership as well as Caesar staff. Although I can imagine it might get a little in the way of enjoying your cocktail. 
Social distancing is another big feature that Caesars is really, really focused on, especially in high traffic areas, check-in queues, and restaurants as well. So in addition to having line markers on the ground, anywhere that there might be a queue, maybe at the Caesars rewards desk, maybe at the check-in desk, just depends on where you might have a line. Another focus that they're gonna have is they're gonna have line markers so you know exactly where you should be standing to make sure fellow guests aren't in any trouble. They're also gonna be reducing occupancy, especially in restaurants, and that will be done by not only physically distancing tables, but they'll be removing chairs, and there are gonna be lots of places they're removing chairs. The restaurants are one of them, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about a couple other places where you won't be able to sit down quite as comfortably very shortly. Chairs are the least of the changes in the casinos. In addition to having lower occupancy rates in the casino itself, they're going to be distancing the games. So expect the occasional game to be physically turned off. In addition to that, they'll be running around and doing sanitization of each individual casino game once someone's walked away. Theoretically, it's supposed to be sanitizing and wiping down the buttons themselves and the chairs in the areas, not only on the slot machines and video poker machines, but also at the tables. Speaking of table games, don't expect any big rip-roaring craps games anytime soon. Most table games will be reduced to approximately three to six players, depending on the nature of the game and the physical size of the table. Nevada Gaming Control Board operators are behind this portion of the project, so they're definitely going to be following those casino regulations, and due to following those regulations, you guys might be out one or two gaming options, so keep that in mind when you return. But what about other entertainment? Can we go to a show? Well, so far, Caesars hasn't really planned any shows. Currently, as of March 16th, all show tickets should have been refunded, assuming an event was canceled. Now, if your event wasn't canceled and you still have a ticket, don't worry, you can hold on to that, and it should be valid for the next performance date. You can go ahead and double check that on the Caesars website or Ticketmaster if that's where you booked through. Though, if you didn't book through Caesars or Ticketmaster directly, you might have to go ahead and check in with your third-party booking agent for additional details. And back to the buffets. Now, don't expect buffets to open back up anytime soon. Again, as of March 16th, all the buffet passes were canceled, and you cannot purchase buffet tickets or individual buffet passes on the website at all right now. The general lack of availability and the Nevada Gaming Control Board's regulations seem to imply that buffets might be a thing of the past, at least for now. And if they do come back, the speculation is that they'll come back as more of a cafeteria-style thing where people are actually serving you at the buffets, but only time will tell on that. And while there's no official word on pools or nightclubs, I suspect that pools will use the same social distancing protocols as other properties. When and MGM have also stated that they'll be removing chairs and social distancing the pool area, same with Venetian. So I suspect that Caesars, given that their plan is very similar to MGM's seven-step plan, will follow suit as well. And nightclubs as a whole, I just don't expect to see those back. Not anytime soon, so don't expect to hang out with any DJs of the club anytime soon. Now, what are my final thoughts on the plan? To be perfectly honest with you, it sounds pretty standard. In our last video that we did about the casino plans and the reopening plans, we did some tiering, and Caesars didn't exactly tier very well. Largely because at that point, we hadn't heard much from them, and because they were keeping the public in the dark, we really didn't have a lot of confidence uh, as an audience to say that they were going to be a good place to go. They hadn't taken super great care of their employees, giving them immediate furlough with maybe two weeks paid time off, and no additional assistance outside of that, so Caesars was a little low on our list. On the other hand though, now that they actually do have a plan, and like we suspected, it is pretty similar to MGM's, I guess we can give them a pass. I'd bump them up to C rank at this point. They're doing fine, it's nothing special, but that's yeah, about what we were expecting to happen. So we can work with that. So that said, Spinners and Sharks, are you guys interested in going back to Caesars immediately once they reopen? Once as soon as you expect to be able to go on vacation, and do you feel safe with Caesars' plan, knowing what you know about them? from the official YouTube video, as well as the official Caesars website. Leave your thoughts here in the comment section down below. All right, my spinners and sharks, that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Because I miss Vegas restaurants so much, I'm gonna see if I can dig out another slightly older Vegas vlog. That'd be a pretty good one since I haven't released it yet, and it also does have a little bit of that Vegas high-end experience in it. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.